Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is April 26, 2012. There is a video circulating around the internet that if true signifies the beginning of the mandatory implementation of the Mark of the Beast, 666. The video was recorded in the Philippines and in their language, although there are English subtitles on the screen. Nagulat nga ako nung nakita ko to, yung ang 666 sa isang sistema ng pamahalaang pangdaidik. Eh doon talaga sa amin, nangyayari na talaga to, 666. Yung mga tao, nasa baba, nagsigakyata niya sa bundok, gawa ng hinahapol kami ng mga ano, yung mga simbolo na nga ganito, mga 666. Lahat ng mga tao yan, bawat mahuhuli, meron silang tinatatak na parang bigas lang, parang bigas silang sa kaliit. Tapos sa loob doon talaga, makikita mo talaga yung simbolo. Tapos bawat ng ano nila dito, may simbolo talaga dito sila, 666, sa ano, dito sa oh, yun ngayon. Okay. Simula noon, lahat ng mga tao doon sa amin, Nagsig akyatan sa bundok, yung iba po, lumuwas na rito. Taga saan po kayo saan, kuya? Saan. Yung ano talaga namin ni Gros, Sibo. Ah, sa ni Gros, yung probinsya ko. Yung asawa ko, taga Sibo. Doon kami nagkita-kita sa Sibo, gawa ng nagtrabaho ako ng ano, biker, panadero. Doon kami nagkita-kita. Yung sa ibang mga tao na, ano yan, kagaya niya, wala pang kaalaman sa ganito. Sa ngayon pa lang, masasabi ko talaga itong simbolo na to ay totoo talaga. Once na natataka na kayo rito, ang ibig sabihin niyan, mamayari na kayo sa ano, sa tawag nito yung... Sa kanila. Sa kanila. Sabi mo kuya yung 666 nakalagay mismo dun sa ano? Oo, oh, nakalagay oh, mismo sa maliit na mismo. parang bigas. Naka, ah, nakalagay mismo siya. Dito na, sa Tapos once na, na ah, iturok to ah, sa'yo, naturok na sa'yo, no? Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos pag iturok sa'yo, dito lalagyan ka pa dito. Lalagyan Simbolo pa talaga, din. 666, oh. So meron tao mga nakalagay na sa noob? Oo, oh, itim. Ala. Itim. Kaya yung tato. iba, yung parang tato. tato. Malangang Hindi, pagura. ganyan, magtakbuhan kami, no? Oh. Once na mahuli na yan, yung parang wala ka ng malay. Once na natataka ka na dito. Kasi ano ka na nila, eh. Kumbaga, pag sa ano ka na, hinawakan na nilang yung compute sa'yo, eh. Kung uh -oh. bawat ano yung iutos nilang masama sa'yo, ginagawa mo. Ah. Oh. Parang ganun. Oh. Parang control ka na nila. Na once na ganito sabihin, yan, gawin mo yan, patayin mo yan, ganyan, no? Makaya mo na kasi kontrolado ka na nila kung ano. Nangayon ko ba na rin pa rin yung Oo, balagi yung, oh, bala, oh, bala yung mano sa amin doon. Oh. Kuya kayo, taga saan kayo? Yung taon. Doon din? Santa Catalina naman na. Santa Catalina? Oo, oh, sa ano siya, magkaisang ano lang kami niya. Ah. Bayawan ako, Santa, Santa Catalina siya. Eh, siya lang bayan namin. Tapos Kali... Santa Catalina. sa amin, lip-lip yun eh. Hmm. Lip -lip talaga yun yan. Alas 6 pa lang ng ano, uma hap umaga. Ay, ay, hap. I can't conclusively say whether or not this video is true. One thing for certain is the microchip has been and is being implanted in people in many countries throughout the world. And let us not forget that here in the U.S., the Obama health care bill contains language buried deep within its 2,000 plus pages that makes the establishment of a national RFID registry mandatory by March 2013. Although the RFID chip initially may not be the mark of the beast, it will certainly become so once the Antichrist takes over. It will be a simple matter of adding a prefix of the number 666 to your already existing microchip ID and perhaps having you swear to abide by the laws of the one world government system, a pledge of allegiance if you will. 
Here is an interesting website called wanttoknow.info. They have a collection of articles published by various news agencies concerning the RFID chip. U.S. Group Implants Electronic Tags in Workers An Ohio company has embedded silicon chips in two of its employees. The first known case in which U.S. workers have been tagged electronically as a way of identifying them. A private video surveillance company said it was testing the technology as a way to con of controlling access to a room where it holds security video footage for government agencies and the police. Embedding slivers of silicon in workers is likely to add to the controversy over RFID technology widely seen as one of the next big growth industries. RFID chips, inexpensive radio transmitters that give off a unique identifying signal, have been implanted in pets or attached to goods so they can be tracked in transit. There are very serious privacy and civil liberty issues of having people permanently numbered, said Liz McClintyre who campaigns against the use of identification technology. There's nothing impulsing or sending out a signal, said Mr. Darks, who has a chip in his own arm. It is not a GPS chip. My wife can't tell where I am. The technology defenders say it is acceptable as long as it is not compulsory. But critics say any implanted device could be used to track the wearer without their knowledge. Students ordered to wear tracking tags. The only grade school in this rural town is requiring students to wear frequency identification badges that can track their every move. Some parents are outraged fearing it will rob their, their children of privacy. Incom has paid the school several thousand dollars for agreeing to the experiment and has promised a royalty from each sale if the system takes off, said the company's co-founder, Michael Dobson, who works as a technological specialist in the town's high school. Now here's another one, RFID getting under your skin. Mexican Attorney General Rafael Macedo de la Concha announced recently that he, several members of his staff, and some 160 employees of a new $30 million anti-crime computer center in Mexico City had all been implanted with RFID chips. The chips, made by Verichip, a subsidiary of Applied Digital Solutions of Delray Beach, Florida, will help control and track access to the new anti-crime center which houses a centralized database intended to improve Mexico's dismal record of solving crimes. In a country where bribery and corruption are a problem, being able to track precisely who has access to the delete key in a criminal database can be quite useful. The U.S. Army has considered implanted RFID chips to forever end the anguish of unknown soldiers. Banks have entertained the idea of offering implanted tags to customers as a way to prevent thefts at ATM machines and retail stores. Nursing homes see some advantage advantages in injecting tags in patients with Alzheimer's disease who might wander or be incoherent. Police have suggested that pairing RFID officers with RFID handguns would keep the weapons from being used against the owner. So far, however, very legitimate concerns about privacy and ethics, not to mention squeamish, excuse me, not to mention squeamishness about the implantation process, have kept such applications in the theoretical stage. Well, almost. As the Mexican experience shows, some people are actually volunteering to be tagged. There are a lot of video reports on YouTube concerning the RFID implants in humans. I'll leave uh, several of the links in the box below. Uh, I would advise you guys watch them. You know, they're, they're very, very interesting. 
In other news, mad cow disease detected in California as officials insist meat eaters are not at risk. Mad cow disease has been found in a cow on a dairy farm in California. The disease can be fatal to humans who eat infected beef, but the animal posed no danger to the nation's meat eaters because it was not bound for the U.S. food supply, the Agricultural Department said on Tuesday. There is really no cause for alarm here with regard to this animal, U.S. Department of Agriculture Chief Veterinarian Officer John Clifford said. The cow whose carcass has been destroyed was discovered through routine testing at a rendering plant in Central California, but the USDA would not reveal when the disease was discovered, according to AP. Uh, they look like happy cows to me, but I don't know. Uh, you know. We have to be careful what we eat. The government is sharing its lab results with international animal health officials in Canada and England. It said the case was atypical because the animal did not catch the disease from eating infected cattle feed. This is the fourth time mad cow disease or bovine spongiform, uh, whatever that word is there, uh, has been discovered in the United States since the government began testing for it in a bid to keep the food supply safe. The other three confirmed cases were in Washington State in 2003, in 2005 in Texas, and 2006 in Alabama. The infected cow discovered in Washington State was born in Canada. Well, there's more to the story, and I'll put the link in the box below, and you guys can read it if you care to do so. In uh, Revelation chapter 13, verses 15 and 16, referring to the false prophet, you know, who was a servant of the, the Antichrist, he, the false prophet, was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, going on the 17, and that no one might buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Friends, the end time prophecies in the Bible, written thousands of years ago, are being fulfilled before our very eyes. Wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes with ever increasing frequency and intensity, signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and then we have the rapidly approaching mark of the beast. The Bible tells us that anyone who accepts the mark of the beast is doomed to everlasting damnation and cannot be saved. Do not accept the chip no matter how they present it to you. They will undoubtedly market it first as a technological advancement aimed at making your life easier and more convenient. Second, at some point they will explain how due to certain circumstances it has become necessary to receive the RFID chip in order to continue participating in the economic system. It is so important that I'll repeat it again. Do not accept the chip under any circumstances. I for one will not. Are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus? Follow the link below and say the prayer with all sincerity and you will be saved. God bless you all.